guys, so today I have a video that I am really excited about. Um, I have ice cream nails, I'm about to drop them, polishes to show you. I have 17 different shades. These are a polish that I've been after for a really long time. A lot of people swatched them a couple years ago. They're in these ice cream cone shaped bottles. I heard really good things about them, but they were an Australian brand and they were like pretty much impossible to find over here. And they are now carried at livelovepolish.com, so I will link that website down below. They are carrying 17 of the, I think, 20 shades in the entire range, so almost the entire range. So I will link Live Love Polish down below where you guys can check these out, and I have 17 shades to show you today, so I will get right into the swatches. So the first polish is called Soft Serve, and this is a white cream. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit streaky on that first coat. Formula on this one is good. It's not too thick, not too thin. It applies pretty easily. So here is two coats. So this one covers completely in two, but I am doing a thicker second coat to make sure that it does. I think depending on your application, you might need three. The formulas are pretty easy to control. However, the brush on the bottle, the I guess ice cream cone shaped handle on it is not very easy to use. So there is two coats of soft serve. The next polish is called Blue Heaven and this is a lighter baby blue. So here is one coat. This one is a bit sheer and a little bit streaky on the first coat but if you notice a lot of those streaks kind of even themselves out as the polish settles. The formula is good on this one. It's a little bit thinner than soft serve was, but I think that helps those streaks kind of take care of themselves a little bit. So here is two coats. And this one builds up and covers completely in two. And this dries pretty shiny as well. I did also want to add in the last polish I mentioned that the caps are a little bit hard to control. Bottles can tip over a little bit easier too, so you do want to be careful with them. So there is two coats of Blue Heaven. The next polish is called Musk Have It, and this is a bright pink. So here is one coat. And this one has pretty good coverage on it for one coat. It's a little bit streaky still. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. I know it was hard to see those streaks on the camera on the first coat. This one does dry a little bit dull, so you will want top coat to make it as shiny as possible. So there is two coats of Musk Have It. The next polish is called Grasshopper Pie, and this is a mint green. So here is one coat. This one is a little bit sheer and streaky on the first coat, but it does even itself out pretty well like the blue one did. The formula feels a bit thinner like Blue Heaven did as well, which is helping those streaks even themselves out. Although I do think if you do too thick of a coat, it's going to run down the sides of your nail. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two, but I am doing a thicker second coat to make that happen. I think depending on your application, you might end up needing three. And this one dries pretty shiny as well. So there is two coats of Grasshopper Pie. The next polish is called Gummy Bear, and this is a bright orangey red. So here is one coat. So this one covers really well on the first coat. It is just a tiny bit streaky, but for the most part I can just see my nail line. And great formula on this one. It does feel a little bit thicker than the last one, so it doesn't feel like it needs to run down the sides of the nail at all. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two, and I keep trying to adjust the brightness on the camera, but I think that my viewfinder shows it a lot darker than it actually is, and once I get it on the computer it's super bright. This dries matte, so you will want top coat. So there is two coats of Gummy Bear. The next polish is called Big Marshmallow, which is kind of a bubblegum pink color. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit streaky on the first coat, but it does still cover pretty well. Formula is good on this one. I think it's like in between the thickest and the thinnest that I've used. So I'd say like Grasshopper Pie was probably the thinnest so far. Gummy Bear was the thickest. This is somewhere in between. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two. It also dries pretty shiny. I mean, obviously I'm going to recommend a top coat for like every nail polish you wear ever, but it does dry pretty shiny. So there is two coats of Big Marshmallow.
The next palette is called Vovalicious, and this is a light, light pink. So here's one coat. This one, for being a light pink, covers really, really well. It's got very, very minor streaks. It's a little bit sheer. It definitely needs two coats, but I'm surprised because light pinks don't usually turn out this nice. Formula is great on this one. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. It's a very, very even light pink polish, which isn't common. And it also dries very shiny. So there is two coats of Volvalicious. The next polish is called You Blew It, and this is a sky blue. So here's one coat. This is another one that is a little bit streaky on the first coat, but the formula is just thin enough that the streaks kind of level themselves out a bit as it dries. You can see that this does have a little bit of a goofy brush. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. I think depending on your application, you might end up needing three. I have a few streaks when I put it on, but like I said on the first coat, because of that thinner formula, they kind of fill themselves in as the polish settles. So there is two coats of You Blew It. The next polish is called Grape Soda, and this is a kind of medium pastel purple. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat. It is still a bit sheer. Fantastic formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. This dries a little bit dull, so you would want a top coat for this one. So there is two coats of Grape Soda. The next polish is called Bubblegum Bang, and this is a hot, hot pink, like freak out the camera hot pink. Here it is next to Musk Have It, so you can see the difference. So here's one coat. This one is a touch sheer on the first coat, so it will need two. The coverage is pretty even. I can just see my nail line completely. The formula feels good on this one as well. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. This dries very matte, so you will want a top coat. So there is two coats of Bubblegum Bang. The next polish is called Sunny Boy, and this is a bright, almost like neon macaroni and cheese powder orange cream. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. Not really that streaky, a little bit, but for the most part it's pretty even, just sheer. Good formula. So here's two coats. So two coats does cover completely on this one, but I think depending on your application, you might end up needing three. I can see where if you use too much pressure, you could create some streaks that you'd need to cover up with a third coat. So there is two coats of Sunny Boy. The next polish is called, of course, Applesauce, and this is a slightly more green, mint green. Here it is next to Grasshopper Pie. They are very, very, very close. Grasshopper Pie is a little tiny bit darker and, and maybe leans a little bit more blue, but there isn't a huge difference between the two of them. So here is one coat. This one is sheer and it is pretty streaky on the first coat. Those streaks do level out a little bit as it settles. Formula is good. It's definitely on the thinner side of the polishes in this range so far, but it's not hard to use at all. So here is two coats. This one covers, I'd say like 90% on the second coat. I'm doing a thicker second coat to make sure that it does. If you look closely, you can still pick out some darker spots, but I don't think that they're bad enough to go through a whole third coat. So there is two coats of, of course, applesauce. The next polish is called Blackberry Mousse, and this is a pastel purple. Here it is next to Grape Soda, so you can see the difference. So here is one coat. And this one covers really well on the first coat, just a little bit of streaking that I want to cover up. Great formula. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. This one has a really smooth, really good formula. So there is two coats of Blackberry Mousse. The next polish is called Juicy Juicy, and this is kind of like in between a sunshine yellow and a pastel yellow. It's the middle ground right between those two colors. So here's one coat. 
So this one covers okay on the first coat. It is a yellow, so it is gonna take a little bit more work than a darker color would. But for a yellow, it's pretty even. It is a little bit streaky still. It is gonna need another one or two coats. So here's two coats. And this one actually covers pretty well on the second coat. I am doing a little bit thicker of a second coat to make sure that it covers completely, but I think it's good here. This one also dries pretty shiny as well. So there is two coats of Juicy Juicy. The next polish is called Mint Madness, and this is kind of a lime green with a pearl shimmer. So here is one coat. So this one it covers pretty well on the first coat. A few streaks, and there are definitely brush strokes through here. Formula is good. You just have to be very careful to do straight strokes so your brush strokes don't look all wiggly on the nail. So here is two coats. And those brush strokes that are in there do, for the most part, remain after it dries. Not very many of them fade, but this does cover completely in two coats. And it also dries dull, so you will want top coat. So there is two coats of Mint Madness. The next polish is Pineapple Punch, and this is a neon yellow cream. So here is one coat. So I'm attempting this without a white base because it does look like it's meant to be worn without one because it's not super sheer. It does look promising. A bit patchy on the first coat, but I'm not going to start worrying about that yet because it is a neon yellow. Formula feels good. So here is two coats. It is hard to tell on camera, but it's just a little bit streaky still. I think it'll be good with three, so I'm going to do a third coat. And this one does dry pretty dull, so you will want top coat. So here's three coats. So three coats does cover completely on this one, which for a neon yellow on its own is pretty good because this is a pretty bright neon yellow. You could definitely do it over white and just do your two coats of white and probably one coat of the polish. And it might be a little bit brighter, but it's the same amount of coats. So there is three coats of Pineapple Punch. And the last polish is Licorice Twist, and this is a black cream. So here is one coat. And this is completely opaque in one coat. You might end up needing two if you push really hard because you could create some light spots. But as long as you just float the brush over the nail, you should be able to get it with one. Great formula on this one as well. So there is one coat of Licorice Twist. So I have a couple favorites here, and I really think that the shape of the bottles is kind of like making me pick my favorites. Like I picked ones that look cute in ice, they look like ice cream in ice cream shaped bottles. So I don't know, like there are other shades that I really liked, but I feel like these work the best in ice cream shaped bottles. It makes no sense at all. But of course, applesauce is a nice one, blue heaven, and then big marshmallow as well. Even though it's totally past pastel season, I think, like I said, I think the shape of the bottles is making me gravitate towards these ones the most. So those are the new ice cream nails polishes that are available now at livelovepolish.com. I will link that website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.